Should I buy my lease out? It's a great question. A lot of people around the country doing it. I think they're losing tons of money. If you're not buying your lease to keep it eight years, then you're, again, breaking the eight-year rule. You're buying a used car, except it's your car. And you're buying a car that you've already paid on for three years. So if you're not writing a check, planning to sell it in a couple years, you're taking a five or six-year loan on top of the three years you already paid. You're literally eliminating any value that you could have gotten. And here's why most people are doing it. Because they're looking at the market value and saying, well, my lease is worth 25, but my buyout is 19. I'll just buy it for 19. Sounds like a good deal. Well, in an artificial market, which is what we're in, we're an artificial market driven by low inventory. Prices went higher, but they're going to come down. You can't make long term decisions based on an artificial market, because when you look up in two years, your car is going to be at a break even and you would have paid on it already for five years. Think about paying on a car for five years that you just break even on when you trade it. The better thing to do is to learn how to sell the car, maximize your equity using the strategies that I teach and get into a new lease. Most of my students are putting five to eight thousand dollars in their bank accounts and driving off with a brand new car at a great payment. Deshaun, I don't know how to do that. That's why you should be clicking the link in the description.